Who's next? Rebecca. Now, we, again, really, I think something that we should uh, point to is just the, the very interesting solutions that you as a group have come up with in this rather peculiar space. You know, it, it, not often that you put a, 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 an office on a farm <laughs> to have an art show. It's, it's, there can't be, that can't be a very big canon of uh, art history. That, that There can't be that many shows that have done this. So you've had to come up with unique solutions, you know, not least we'll talk a bit about this when we start moving over there about how some of the 2D work has been factored onto these stretches. And these, these shelves, I mean, do you want to talk a bit about sort of how you came upon this way of putting it in, Rebecca? Um, well, the, these shelves were already in the space um, and we were trying to think of ways of putting work up without drilling anything into the walls. Um, so I wondered if I could make use of the shelf for my work. Um, and as my work has been becoming more three-dimensional, it actually works really well. I mean, I, I love these little figures. I, I hope if you've got the, 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 the <laughs> incredibly subversive and um, they're very funny. And I, I think they're, they're, there's a lovely way. I mean, the, the level of detail that you've gone into making these things is great. I think the way that you walk around it, in some ways, it's, it's a composition very painterly, actually. It's almost like paint, 3D painting that you, you've gone with. Was that your intention? Making sure there's enough of them so that it all comes together. And was there? I mean, just out of interest, that the, these these bits here they they're kind of different. Is there is there any relevance to those ones? Is the the sort of it looks like the queen or something when, in her younger days dancing? Then you have these kind of odd like space boots or something. Do they do they have any uh, meaning? Um. I like to I like to use found materials in my work. Um, kind of these objects add a bit more um, more details and textures and colours into the cardboard landscape and make these little events stand out a little more. Nice. Okay, that's great. I mean, did did you? Was there, is there a story behind it? Is there a narrative, Did you, or even a secret narrative? Or, or? Um, the, each event that this little character, it's the same character kind of doing a journey throughout, um, and they're strange activities which don't really go together. Um, the idea is kind of generated from chance through um, Cutting out newspaper words and the surrealist game Exquisite Corpse, um, and also looking at the the cardboard and how I can add into that. Um, and my thinking was that this character does all of these strange, random events, um, and then ends up achieving its strawberry. Gift. That's very good, very good. Oh, I think it's great. It's, uh, if you just scroll across with that, we'll, we'll just film it so you can get the full adventure. I mean, in that sense, it, it's, it's, it's like a, uh, a storyboard in some way, but also it's like something like the Bayer Tapestry, isn't it? Where it, it's, everything happens simultaneously. It's not, you know, there, there isn't there's a sequence but it almost meshes together in one single work so it's the same figure but appearing sort of you can read it going through on, on through time which is great that's great well done rebecca congratulations <laughs> now, this is going to be tricky isn't it carlotta doesn't want to talk so, and i i only know i mean i'm 
I'm terrified what to, to say about this car. So you, you're really not going to, I'm, I'm going to get in trouble if I start talking about it. It's, it, it's, it looks like a crime scene map. <laughs> and I, and I, I'm sure that you've you've not committed anything uh, awful. I'm, I'm sure this is more you. Uh, you're not going to say. I'm trying to <laughs> desperately trying to see whether I can get her to talk here. Um, I, I what I do know about this is um, you've been engaging in detective work. And I believe this, this, this is a forest, not or a wood, not a million miles from here. Um, so if we start scanning through, and I believe that this is your own research, and I believe that the figure that is uh, straddling the pentacle that you've created here, a, a very sinister looking red string, um, is a is a figure that, that you 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 have um, been tracing or, or tracking that um, I don't know whether it's a it's a ghost or it's a spirit of the forest or the wood I, I don't know I mean the overwhelming opinion I get from this is um, I, I I just feel nervous we're in we're in sort of a, a Blair Witch territory here aren't we and it's a uh, it's rather strange in a way that you've got the juxtaposition between actually when I look out the window here you, you might be able to see it is it's just the most beautiful sort of Kentish country it's the very best of uh, of the county and then here is the same kind of countryside but it's become dark and fearsome and scary and uh, I really wouldn't want to go there and it, it's a it's an interesting reminder of just how you know, the, the, these places that, that we encounter them during the day, they're, they're friendly and nice, but actually you take a walk in a wood at night and um, you do start seeing figures like that. I, I mean, uh, it, it's, it's actually quite a scary experience if ever you've, you've, uh, you've had to do that, um, which on occasion that has happened where you get caught out, particularly in the winter where the sun sets and uh, you do have to go through a wood to get home. You kind of wish you hadn't because the, the slightest creaks and cracks do become terrifying and figures like this, they go from being kind of these flights of fantasy to actually having a visceral effect and it, it, it stirs up some of that. I mean, these Polaroids are particularly disturbing looking things you almost feel like you can see something in them like uh, a disembodied limb is never a good thing to encounter is it in a in a wood um so there we are so that that's you're not going to say anything to to conclude no it was meant to creep you out and it did the job well you you've you've succeeded with gusto well done Carla. <laughs> congratulations <laughs> And now, Janet, uh -huh. we, we're into bursts of colour and effervescence. And, and what would you, you know, do you want to talk anything about your process or your use of colour or...? Uh, yeah, I'd like to give you this, okay, because that's part of what I... So these particularly these this one, are the collaging scissors, are they? They are the, poet, the scissors that I've used to create Amazing. this... This one particularly, because it's cut out. Okay. And they've got paint on them as well. Well, yeah, because the real thing. I'm an artist, so... An artist scissors. Yeah. Let's I was worried what was going to happen. I think paint. we better take... So, in terms of your colour choice, how do you, how do you choose your colours, Janet? They choose. They choose themselves. Okay. I don't choose any. I just go for it. Yeah. Um, this one is the, is the cutouts. Um, I paint um, an A3 piece of paper with acrylic paint, all different mm -hmm. colours like stripes, all the way down, and I do a bit of jiggling around, a bit of splashing, wait till they dry and then cut them up. That's the way I've been working at the moment because I've, normally I work, I cut old pictures up, but I run out of old pictures, so to make some I've had to make, had to make <laughs> <laughs> make pictures to cut out. So it's all cut out. Yeah. Um, this is uh, about, I tried to change it by putting in something different. Mm -hmm. And what I put in is an 
open sure. here, um, which is, I think it's either, I think it's called through the door, and this is what's on the other side, mm -hmm. and the tightness here of the colours here are actually opening up mm. this door there and there are opening up mm. opening up slowly 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 coming up here opening up so that eventually this work will go and it would just be this other realm or wow. other area Great, yeah. I mean, uh, I, I love that's... the way you were getting that. You know, that this these vertical stripes, I think they're, they're really powerful. And I think the way that you, you're making the different shapes and forms work, I think they're they're, they're really I mean, yeah, sort it, of it, buzzing, aren't they? Yeah. They're, they're, because they're... Well, if you stand back here, the only the one that really stands up for me is the pink. You'd think the red would stand up, but it's it doesn't. I think the the pink stands up more than anything in that picture yeah uh, it does, no, but it wasn't no. placed there particularly it was um I mean, it, it's the freedom that you allow yourself to do this which yeah. is, is the great thing and i think that's what anyone who encounters yeah. this work yeah. responds oh. to is is that it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a kind of there's a joy to it you know yeah. and and the cut out it reminds me of matisse and that yeah. was that was the absolute sort of idea he wanted his work to be joyful and people yeah. to engage with it and, and, and yeah. it, to have that, even though it was hard won and it, it wasn't easy. That, and I, I think that you're, you're distilling some of that and I, I think it puts a smile on people's face, doesn't it? It, it gives people something to think about. And I, I think that it's an important part of the art scene. It's having the colour uh, and the, um, the using the colour yeah. when people really are scared of colour. Yes, it's true. They are. They it are is. No, they certainly are. Yes, so they, they absolutely are. Yeah. It, it's Particularly so in this country. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's um, something. And this one here, it's called Tumbling Rocks. <laughs> and um, again, I've cut out uh, photocopy paper, dark photocopy paper, yeah. stuck them on, mm -hmm. and then painted over them mm -hmm. with with acrylic paints. Mm -hmm. uh, and what amazes me, which I didn't necessary put in was the this river here coming through mm. and that's so again, to me you've got the flow in this one and it's going yeah. diagonal in this one yeah. it's a river of life you know yeah fascinating uh, and there's a bridge you see they can come across the river yeah. and to the other side i think they work particularly well on these uh the, this really yeah. amazing system that, that just to explain why the works are seem to be on these stretches is that um we weren't able to do anything invasive on the wall, so we couldn't put screws in, we couldn't put any fittings, conventional fittings for the painting. So very ingeniously, this, this idea of creating a, a standard kind of way of, of putting 2D work on, and in some ways, it, it's, it's, they become, they work yeah. really well with I those, think it's a brilliant, they? I think it's absolutely it, brilliant. It's almost idea, something to think yeah. about in the future, actually, yeah. that, that to have your work. It was such a brilliant it's idea. It's really nice to see them freestanding. I like thank that. the guys, that all, the, all yeah. of them, for working so hard to do it. I think it is, and I, I think, I think yeah. we can talk to one of them now, but first I, I would say, well done, Joe. Yeah, Congratulations. You. Really good. And actually, it, it's a very appropriate, so, you are the last man, Stuart, aren't you? But you, you were you were the the person who was fundamental in getting these together. I mean, just just do you, is there, before we move on to it, is there anything you can say about this 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 sort of very ingenious way of showing two D work? Well, I think it was a group idea that we came up with, and it's uh, it, it certainly solves the problem of fixing something to the wall, and it does mean that you can move stuff around, so you can yeah. adjust it. So. No, it's great. It's yeah. cheap and cheerful. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to let, <laughs> don't let light in on the magic. It's uh, it's spoils it. But anyway, so here is your work, Stuart. So so what what can you you know that it's uh, there, there's there's a connection between the two pieces. Would you like to talk a bit about what the connection is between? Them? Yeah, the narrative is this is a a copy of a shopping list I once found in a park in South East London. Uh, it's a very simple shopping list, one that I could have made. Um, so I'd, I wanted to take something everyday thing and make art out of it. So I decided to create that shopping list in plaster. And I 